Welcome to Life in Rome. In this brief presentation, you will learn about what to expect when you move to the Rome, New York area for your posting to the Eastern Air Defense Sector. We hope this information helps ease your transition and helps you avoid surprises. You can return to this presentation, if needed, on the MFSUS YouTube channel or on the CAF Connection website. Let's get started. The state of New York is located in the northeastern United States, bordering Ontario and Quebec, as well as Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Connecticut, Massachusetts, and Vermont. With a population of over 19 million, New York is the fourth most populous state in the U.S. And New York City, as you might have guessed, is the most populous city in New York, with two-thirds of the state population living in the NYC metropolitan area. It's not the state capital, though. That title goes to Albany. The minimum wage in New York, outside of NYC, is $12.50 per hour. The politics generally lean liberal in major cities, especially downstate, and conservative elsewhere, especially rural upstate. The gross state product was $1.7 trillion in 2018, supported by industries in agriculture, tourism, tech, energy, entertainment, and finance. The geography in the state of New York provides amazing opportunities for year-round outdoor recreation. From the St. Lawrence and Thousand Islands to the shores of the Great Lakes, from the Adirondack Mountains and New York's highest peak, Mount Marcy, to the Catskills and the Finger Lakes, there are forests, waterfalls, lakes, rivers, sandy beaches, campgrounds, you name it. Beautiful nature to enjoy at every turn. The climate and weather in New York are similar to Ontario, and we're lucky enough to enjoy the four distinct seasons. The summer highs average 28 degrees Celsius in July, and with the humidity, it can feel a little bit sticky. So if your home doesn't have central air, you might wanna consider buying a portable or window AC unit to take the edge off during those hottest weeks. The fall foliage in upstate New York is spectacular and is worth as many road trips as you can manage while the leaves are at peak. Before long, winter will arrive, bringing average lows at minus 12 degrees Celsius in January. Winter will also bring some major snowfalls, especially when the lake effect is in action. Consider investing in a snowblower or hiring a local snow removal company to manage your driveway. The local services and infrastructure are well adapted to in the winter, especially with challenges with snow and ice. The highways are well maintained, and depending on your neighborhood, the plows do come by regularly. It's not impossible, however, for a major storm to close schools and cause power outages. Other local weather-related concerns are flash flooding and major windstorms, but nothing you wouldn't see back home. Rome, New York is located in the Oneida County in the Mohawk Valley region, where the population is around 432,000. The biggest employer in the area is the government, which employs teachers, public administrators, firefighters, police officers, corrections employees, and so on. You may see tourism signs on the highway that point to the leather stocking region. Leather stocking has nothing to do with the local industry, but it is a literary reference to the leather stocking tales a series of novels by James Fenimore Cooper that were set in this area in the late 18th century. The Erie Canal runs through the Mohawk Valley and connects the Great Lakes to the Atlantic Ocean. Due to the influence and importance of this great work of civil engineering, the Canalway is a designated National Heritage Corridor. The construction of the canal began in 1817 and the first shovel of dirt was turned in Rome. Oneida County makes up the northwest side of the Mohawk Valley, and it has a population of around 228,000. It contains New York's 10th most populous city, Utica, and the state's second largest city by area, Rome. Despite having the second largest land area in New York, the city of Rome's population is just over 32,000. Rome is known as the Copper City due to having produced 10% of the United States copper during the Industrial Revolution. It is home to Fort Stanwix National Park, the author of the Pledge of Allegiance, Francis Villani, and it was the location of the Woodstock 99 Music Festival. The city of Utica's population is around 60,000. Utica is home to the historic Stanley Theater, the Utica Zoo, the Boilermaker Road Race, the Adirondack Bake Center, where you can watch the Utica Commons play, the Saranac Brewery, and the U.S. second oldest pizzeria, Oscanese. The most famous local dish is chicken Riggie's pasta. 
And although the Italian influence in the area is hard to miss, Utica is a very diverse city with growing immigrant communities from around the world. The blue arrow on the map shows roughly where our Canadian Armed Forces members work, on the side of what used to be Griffiths Air Force Base. Griffiths was a B-52 base and a big part of the local economy until it closed in the mid-1990s. The Eastern Air Defense Sector and the Rome sites of the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory and Defense Financing and Accounting Service are the only remaining military establishments left at the site, which is now called the Griffiths Business and Technology Park. The pins on the map show roughly where the current Canadian families live, with the farthest member having about a 28-minute commute from Sequoia. Finding suitable housing in the area can be a bit of a challenge, as the rental market has an extremely low inventory. School districts, nearby amenities, commute to work, and desired general lifestyle are things to think about as early as possible in the posting process. Engaging the detachment early will help your new unit help you have a successful HHT. Speaking of the unit, the Rome Canadian Detachment is a small unit of just 15 members with a mix of singles, couples, and families with children. Most members can expect to be on shift work, and some can be deployed domestically for short periods of temporary duty. The debt is fortunate to have access to its own space for a home away from home, the Canadian Military Community Center. Here, you can find the Beaver Den Mess, a conference room, a playroom for children, a lounge area with a small kitchen, a sports store locker, and a military family services office. One of the unique aspects of being posted to EADS is a lack of U.S.-based support in the local area. Most Canadians posted to the U.S. enjoy the services and support of a major U.S. military installation, but in Rome, this is not the case. The facilities you can access in Rome, what remains after Griffiths Air Force Base was closed, includes Building 1, which contains the ID section, the DFAS offices, the exchange, the post office, a tailor, and our military community center. Building two contains the Coliseum gym, which features an indoor track, a basketball court, a boxing ring, various cardio and workout rooms, a CrossFit box, a racquetball court, a batting cage, a virtual golf simulator, and much more. There's no pool, and the services at the Coliseum prioritize the needs of the military members. Spouses have access, but there is no programming for children. Building 703 contains the Canadian Detachment Orderly Room, and Building 700 is the Ops Floor. To find EADS specific community support, you can join the private Facebook group called EADS Family Support and Events page. There are other US-based supports available to you, just a short drive away. EADS falls under the 174th Attack Wing of the New York Air National Guard, the 174th Attack Wing Family Readiness Office is located at Hancock Field in Syracuse. They also have a small exchange there, but not much else in the way of base services. You can follow the 174th Attack Wing Family Readiness on Facebook. The big ticket base support comes from Fort Drum, located in Watertown, New York, about 90 minute drive from Rome. Having access to Fort Drum provides you with morale and welfare programming, discount travel, outdoor recreation amenities, better opportunities for single soldiers activities, sports and fitness facilities, tax-free shopping at the class six liquor store, the commissionary grocery store, and also an exchange department store. You can follow Fort Drum FMWR on Facebook for a quick way to find specific pages for the amenities that you're looking to access. One of the many benefits of being posted to EADS is its proximity to so many major Canadian and US cities. The travel opportunities and tourist attractions within a day's drive are more than you can possibly see in one posting. From Rome, you can get to Kingston, Ontario in just two and a half hours, to Ottawa in three and a half, to Montreal in four, or to Toronto in four and a half. As you can see from the central New York map, cities like New York City, Boston, Philadelphia, and Washington DC are all within reach. Closer to your upstate home are cities like Buffalo, Rochester, Albany, and Syracuse. Check out the www.ilovedny.com for regional tourism guides. Some of the differences from Canada that you might notice about life in Rome are family members who accompany a Canadian Armed Forces member to the United States are subject to the Code of Service Discipline. While out can in the U.S., you are a guest in the United States and an ambassador for Canada. 
the chain of command is responsible for ensuring that nobody in the community, including family, violates the conditions in the residency visa or behaves in a manner that brings discredit to the CAF. As we are not located on a U.S. military installation, CAF members do not have access to military doctors in Rome and must seek primary care on the economy. The legal system is different here, although not in an intrusive way. Gun regulations are often mentioned as something significantly different in the U.S. However, New York State has some of the toughest gun laws in the country, including strong permitting for concealed carry, mandatory registration of assault weapons, and mandatory certification for pistol owners. New York also has strong laws to ensure kids go to school and parents can be held accountable in court for truancy. In New York State, the term chronic absenteeism takes into account both excused and unexcused absences, and in some local school districts, only two days missed per month can be considered chronically absent. In most cases, family vacations are considered unexcused. Business hours for local restaurants in the area may vary, with many having at least one day per week where they are completely closed. Businesses are not commonly open very late at night, and community members have reported difficulty finding a taxi or Uber in the late night hours. Finally, despite sharing a border with Quebec, French is not a commonly spoken language in New York State. In the Rome area, there are no French immersion programs available in schools. French is, however, sometimes offered as a second language starting in middle school. Some of the most common challenges you can expect while out can in the U.S. includes navigating the healthcare system, filing taxes, obtaining employment authorization for dependents, integrating into a different school curriculum, and managing finances with a fluctuating exchange rate. You can find detailed information on these challenges on the CAF Connection website under resources in the MFSUS Family Guide and the FAQs for U.S. Living. While you are posted at the U.S., our goal at the Military Family Services is to provide you and your family with the support and information needed to help make your posting the best it can be. We are here to welcome you and support your transition into the community to help you establish support networks and provide an opportunity to contribute to community building. We are here to support you during an operational related absence and to provide information and referral so you know where to turn in an emergency or crisis situation. Our programs and services are developed in collaboration with a volunteer advisory committee to meet the needs identified within the community. If there's any information that we can provide to you or something that we can do to help ease your transition, please let us know. Here's the contact information for your local military family services coordinator. Once you've received your screening message, please contact the MFSC and they will be happy to add you to our private community Facebook group and local email distribution lists so that you can start receiving community news and information. You will discover a small but strong supportive Canadian community that looks forward to welcoming you to your new life in Rome. Thank you so much for watching.